In this video I'm going to replace a tailpiece on a sink. And the tailpiece is this part here. It uh, screws up onto the bottom, the output of the sink. Uh, problem that's been happening here is the uh, tenant here has uh, been telling me that the sink is leaking sometimes. So what I did, and I'm going to do it right now, <coughs> is I let some put the water in the sink and let it out. Oops. I couldn't really see anything leaking because it's only leaking every now and again, but when I move this, what I discovered is that this tailpiece here is actually not really long enough. So this has worked for a long while, but now the, uh, like anything else, moved around a little bit, and I'm just going to show you how to remove this. But first, you can see right there, there's the problem. This tailpiece was cut to be in here, but it's not really actually long enough. So what you do, for starters, screw that down off, and you can see here's the issue. This pipe was actually kind of too tight up in there. So there's our tailpiece there. Have a bin handy to get the uh, any leaks out of there when you're doing this. Now, screw this piece off here. That was actually so tight. Normally you would unscrew this, lift it up on the pipe, and then take the tailpiece out. But that tailpiece was so short that it actually just fell away from the bottom of the sink without us having to remove this piece first. So I have a one and a half inch by four inch plastic tailpiece here. Now you would want to do is put this down into that pipe about an inch or so and then mark it, cut it to the length you want. Now in this case that's going to work out just about right for me. So I'm going to slip that out of there being careful not to put too much stress on those ABS pipes there. They can move a bit but you don't want to get too aggressive with it. So here's basically the way this is going to fit together. You're obviously probably not going to have the exact same one that I have, but it'll be something close. There's my washer at the top of the tailpiece. Then we have the nut that's going to screw up onto the bottom of the sink. So you're going to want that. That's, that's got two little handles on it for tightening it up. Then the nut that we took off of the drain pipe right there that is going to slip on to the bottom like so and then there's going to be a washer up on the bottom of the tailpiece something along those lines so now Slip that onto the pipe, and as I say, don't be too aggressive, but then you get your drain pipe into place, tighten the top one up a little bit, you can see where the bottom one is kind of fitting in here, get that into place, tighten that up a little bit, and just kind of move everything around, see if it's all in place. And I always like to tighten anything I'm doing like that. Tighten one, then the other. Kind of go. Make sure it all seems to be setting into place there okay. Now I'm going to do both of them on this sink. It's a dual sink. The other one was actually cut too short also. So just keep going like that. And that one is done. Then I'm going to fill up the sink and let it drain and verify I don't have any more leaks. Okay, so I have the two tail pieces replaced. One over there, the one we just caught in the video. Incidentally, this was a cheap job. The uh, two of those tail pieces, I think, together were a little over five dollars here in Canada, so not a real big investment. Got some water in the sink. 
let it out. We don't see any leaks. Uh, anytime I do anything like this, I'll keep an eye on it for a little while. Leave my little drain pan down underneath there just in case. But uh, that's uh, pretty much how you do that uh, replacement of the tailpiece on the sink.